So I want to talk to you today about true surrendering, having faith, and walking into the unknown with no fear at all. Let's talk about it. Thank you for being here. Welcome back to the Divine Halo of Love channel. I am Nicole. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're feeling great. Welcome back to my capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. Oh my gosh. I love you all so much. Thank you all for all the love, support, encouragement. I really appreciate all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you for being here with me today. So let's get into it. Let's talk about it. You know, of course, I have pick a cards on this channel as well. And in a lot of the pick a cards, the theme has been trust more, surrender more. And so as I do my own personal work, because, you know, I'm a healer, but I have to still do my own personal work as well. And the more of this work that I do, it is healing for me and it does bring more awareness and expansion to my journey as well. But I started to just think like, okay, Nicole, how can you trust more? How can you surrender more? How can you let go more? Because as humans, and I know for me, I've had issues with, let, with control, with letting go of control and just allowing. I've had a lot of issues with that. It's like, I feel like, you know, I want to control. I want to know. I want to know every part of this. I just, I need to know every little bit. And it's like, when you really trust and you really surrender, you really do let go of all of that. You let go. And it's not easy to do. It's a process that you continue to do over time. You continue to surrender more and more and more. It's not just a thing because when I first started surrendering, I thought like, oh, I'm just going to say it a couple of times and I'm just going to be, you know, fully surrendered and just going with everything. No, it, at least for me, it didn't work like that. When I started to surrender, I started to, I would have to verbally say it as like an affirmation. I surrender today. I let go. I let go of control. I let go of the need to control. I let go of controlling people or controlling the situation. And I was still controlling. I mean, I started to verbally say it, but I was still doing it. I was still controlling. I was still trying to be in control of the situations. And life events started to show me how me trying to control this is actually pushing the process. I don't want to say pushing it back, but hindering the process, hindering the amount of abundance that I could receive. And again, just how everything would unfold. It was just like, it was definitely having an effect on how everything was unfolding. And it wasn't for my highest good. And I had to realize it's because I'm still in the way and still trying to control this because I want to know everything that's going to happen and I want to make sure I can control every part of this plan instead of surrendering that to the higher power, whatever you resonate with, to the universe, higher power, most high, God, you know, letting it go. And just saying, okay, I trust. Because when you fully trust, that's, what, that's you saying, I fully trust the higher power. I say God's spirit most high. I fully trust that the most high will give me what's for my highest good. And I know that without a shadow of a doubt, I know that. And now I can let go and let it really happen. So I want to bring up this example to you. You know, when I was thinking about this video and I was thinking about what example can I use? And I just thought about a blind person. Let me just say this. I don't know if there are any blind people in the capital L-O-B-E tribe or watching this, but listen, I have the utmost respect. Like my respect for blind people is like, it's so 
they have so much bravery and courage every single day. So when I thought about this, I was like, blind people literally surrender and trust every single day, whether they want to or not. Because you know what? They don't have eyes to see what's ahead of them. They cannot see what's ahead of them. So they're in the unknown every single day. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, Nicole, they have a dog. You know, they get familiar. Okay, but is, is a dog eyes? I mean, yes, the dog has eyes. But listen, it's not like having eyes and seeing what's ahead of you. You don't know what variable could be ahead of them. Like, even if they're familiar with their surroundings, which they're, they're able to gain that awareness, when they walk out that door, they could just be a random object in the way. They don't know. They can't see. So they have to rely on their inner guidance, their intuition, and the higher, power, they, the higher power. They have to let go. They don't have a choice. They have no choice but to surrender, but to trust, to trust that they will make it to work safely, to trust that they can make it to the grocery store and back home safely, to trust that when they leave out of their home, that they're protected and nothing will happen to them. They don't have a choice. They have to do this every single day. So I was thinking to myself, if they do it every day, why can't I? Why can't I? If they literally let go every single day they walk out of the home, every day. I wanna paint this other picture to you. So I went to a concert and it was two blind people in the row in front of me and I was just like, wow, because one of the blind, the, the one blind person, because I think it was a couple, but one blind person, um, the usher was helping her so she could go to the restroom. So the usher just helped her, you know, to like the main hallway area. And then, you know, she had to figure it out for herself. The usher didn't even help her to the restroom. She had to figure it out. And again, I just, I'm just so just like mind blown again at their abilities to do that. But I don't want to get too far off, but I'm just trying to paint this picture. Like think about how terrifying that probably is, but they do it with, they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. And the person that she was with was blind as well. And so it's a situation where they have to be in the unknown, in the dark every day. So why can't we do it? Why can't we just say, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to try to control these plans. I'm not going to try to get in the way of what's trying to happen. I'm going to release. I'm going to just say, I surrender. I let it go. And I trust that whatever happens will be for my highest good. Now, this is not to say that it will always be a favorable outcome. And I say this quote unquote, because you may think at that time, this is not what you wanted. This is not favorable to what you felt, to whatever this expectation you may have had. And in that way, you have to let that go as well. You have to let go of the expectation. That's about surrendering as well. So when you say whatever happens for my highest good, if let's just say you apply for a job and you did not get the job, you know, they said that they were going with another candidate. You feel that this is not the favorable outcome that you were hoping for. You were hoping to get this job. But when you let go and trust the plan, trust the divine plan for you, when you let it go and say, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let go whatever happens with this. I'm going to go on this interview. If I get the job, great. If I don't, great. It's fine. I'm still trusting in the plan. So you don't get the job, but then you get offered another job, which is a better situation, more money, more benefits than this previous job. So when you let it go, again, it may not always be the outcome you may think that you want. But if you trust and trust that things are happening for your highest good and really surrender, 
you will know that something better is going to come. And you could trust in that and have that knowing. I don't know what it is. I can't see it. It doesn't. It's not right in front of my face right now. But you know what? I'm trusting. I'm trusting that everything is happening for my highest good. And whatever is meant for me will come to me. We have to let go more. We have to trust more. We have to surrender more. It's really a collective energy right now in humanity. We are being asked to trust more, surrender more, and just let go. Let go of the control. Let go of expectations. Let go of what you think the outcome should be. Let go of, you know, feeling like if it doesn't happen like this, I don't know what I'm going to do. If, I, if it doesn't play out like this, I don't know. I'm just going to lose it. You know, these are the kind of things that we, those are the feelings that we feel when we're not releasing control. When we're trying to still control everything. We have those type of feelings. So some of you may be saying, well, Nicole, you know, how do I surrender more? How do I do that? And for me, like I said, I did a lot of affirmations. And the affirmations by me saying, I release this, I surrender. I surrender to whatever, like God, I surrender. I surrender to this. Please let whatever happen that's supposed to, that's for my highest good, please let that happen. And then release it, don't think about it. The more you stay in the present, the more surrendered you are. The more you remain in the present, the more surrendered you are. I had to learn that. Because when I'm thinking about the past, or when I'm thinking about the future, I'm not in the present. So I'm not surrendered. I'm going back between these two worlds. And my mind state is going from control, you know, maybe a little sadness because I'm thinking about the past, then getting anxiety, thinking about the future, thinking about, oh, this is what I want. I want this to, no, just let it go. Stay in the present. Focus on whatever is happening right now. The more you stay right here in the present moment, the more surrendered you are, the more you let go, the more you're not expecting, you're not thinking about the future, you're not trying to control whatever, or thinking about the past, like, oh, I wish I did this this way, I wish this hadn't happened like this. The more you stay right here, right now, in the now, because this is all that matters, it's just right now, that's all you have the more surrendered you are, the more in the present, the more flow you can have, okay? The more you are able to just let go, release, and just flow, and then everything comes to you. Everything. Every. I had to realize that. I start, the more I let go and stayed in the present and just surrender, the more, I was already abundant, you know what I mean? Like, I was already attracting a lot of abundance, because I, I definitely believe in law of attraction. But for me, the next level was staying in the present and letting go, releasing it, releasing control, releasing the expectation and staying right here, focusing on what's happening right now. And I felt more surrendered, more free and more in flow. But what I'm supposed to be doing, my path and my journey and more connected and more like, you know what? This is all with, I'm letting God control because that's what it's supposed to be. That's what I believe in. Now, you may not believe in that, but that's what I believe in. I'm being guided and I'm not even going to stand in the way of this. Who am I to stand in the way? That's been my mantra. Who am I to stand in the way of what God is trying to do for me? Period. That's it. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this in the comments. Um, do you feel like you surrender? How do you surrender? Let's really talk about this because when we talk about it, we can all learn from each other and really heal. So um, comment below. Let me know how this resonated for you. If no one tells you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I'm proud of you for being here, for doing the work. You know, I really am sending you so much love on your journey. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Join the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.